I hope you enjoy this video. So you know, you can use the code Lachlan10 and save 10% on any of my instructionals through BGJ Fanatics. And you can use the code Lachlan to save 30% on the Grappler's Guide. If you use these links, it also helps me out. So I had an issue this week, yeah? I haven't been here, so yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, about three weeks ago, we would have worked going cross knee through, where I might take my right knee across. This time we're doing near side knee through with it. This time my knee is going on, on this side. Uh, and there's, there's actually heaps of, of options here. We end up in this, like right now, we're in a position we call headquarters, which is called that because it's like probably like 10 different options in terms of which direction you go to try to attack the path. Obviously, we're not going to cover 10 things today, but we'll, uh, we'll cover some of the couple of main options. Right? Um, so we'll, we'll go back to this. Um, you don't have to do this. There's other ways to do it, but we'll go back to one thing we were talking about the other week, which was uh, if you can trap one of their legs, now they can't free their leg uh, outside. So we've made it difficult to get submitted. Okay, so if I put this leg uh, inside between my legs, now Tom can't get any submission unless he takes that, that leg out. Okay, so, that's, so I've kind of made myself safe. Right? So I can push that ankle down. I come out a little bit to my, to my left first, so now that leg's between my leg, and then I step out to the side and I pin Tom's leg with my, my right leg. Okay. So now I'm pretty safe. Right. I'm submitted at least immediately. Um, you're also not going to get put back into closed guard and so on too. Right. Now with this leg, don't put it to the ground. If you do this, like my balance is going to be well off. Okay. I just want like my, just like my knee pinning the, the thigh here. And what I do, I put my foot outwards. Okay. I want to like take away Tom's ability to put his foot on the mat a little bit. Uh, by like having my foot blocked in there, okay? Compared to like here. Yeah, I thought that might happen. You push the volume, not the, no, no, uh, do the volume, not the, uh, yeah, cool. All right, because if I'm here like this, Tom can like hip escape, you can use that foot on the mat, you see that? Whereas, if I come in, and I put my foot under, it's a little harder to, to use that, okay? So I'm pinning this leg with my, with my knee, I want my knee pinched in, my foot turned out. So I want my base to be a little bit like, like this wide base, but getting somewhat tight with the knee. Now, so our main, our first one we're gonna do, if we get a chance to, this is assuming that I can get through the, the frames, is I'm gonna slip my uh, my shoulder past this knee. Okay, so Tom could be blocking whatever, I'm pummeling, and I slip my shoulder past the knee, and I come in here to get lower body control. Turn. All right, now when I'm here, notice I'm still keeping, even though I've stepped out here, I've got wide base, I'm keeping very tight against this leg. You know, kind of like this, he's gonna free his leg, or like, yeah, potentially could get back with that, okay? So I wanna like jam that hook by stepping out. Right. Now, this is where it's really important. If I go forward, this is a hook, okay? This is a butterfly hook right now. If I take my weight forward, Tom can potentially take me over. I need to kill that hook. So I'm gonna move my, I'm gonna drop my arm down towards the hip. Use that hook now, Tom. Yeah, it's really jammed, okay? So don't go cross face unhook. You look at this and you think it's really good. No, I don't have the control to, to do that yet. Drop down to the, to the hip, bring your head on this side, okay? And now I'm gonna sprawl off the butterfly hip, okay? Turn so you can see that. <laughs> Once I've got the hip, like this, I keep my, my pressure out. Try and follow me with that hook, Tom. I'm now gonna keep straighten my leg and I'm gonna move it this way, okay? I then bring my knee in behind my, put my foot behind my knee and I bring my knee over the top. That's it, okay? So the other thing you, I want you to notice here is I don't give Tom a chance to, to lock me into a, a half guard along the way. I'd rather not deal with that, okay? So, from here, I drop and come to here. I sprawl out and I'm keeping this. See how this my right foot stops to try to curl in with that? It's hard for him to curl in compared to this. Okay. So if you want, I go half cut. Yeah, here you can lock a half cut. Go back. I'm jamming this leg and I'm jamming this leg. Okay. Once I sprawl out, I then put my foot behind my knee. Lock a half cut. And he cuts. And he cuts. And once more. And here, step across, pin their leg, slide our shoulder past the thigh. So kind of immediately slipping past this, moving backwards, 
and getting that hit. Okay. Your right hand, you can either hold the arm or the, the head, whatever you prefer. I think the arm's actually better, um, just so that you can't push my leg. Sprawl your leg, like so, and then move it. So I kind of drop my hip, move it to the side. Okay. And then bring my knee in and foot behind my knee. Um, another very common reaction is I get the so I get actually guys just watching um, a lot of people grabbing the knees to start this you won't get anywhere near where you want to get if you grab the knees okay yeah Tom just puts his foot in my bicep All right I need to grab ankles or shins okay this blocks his like entry to my biceps now I can actually okay so I go here I get to my this near side knee through position and pretty common reaction is for Tom to like start like um, using this to kind of push me away. He turns his knee in. Right. Um, so, in fact, and that can be actually, that can be that he wants to do that. Usually he'll be framing and then he's kind of trying to push with that knee and then he gets his uh, a bit of space and tries to get his leg back. Um, well, uh, or it can be a reaction like, if he knows I like the, I go for the, he goes to push, I go for the knee cut and he, yeah, he might go here to block my knee coming across. I won't go that cross knee through if he gets this. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to squash his legs together and pass behind. So if you keep the top leg pinned, he can't open his legs out. He can't, he can't lock a guard if your knees are pinched together, right? You need, the, uh, you need them inside that positioning. So then we can pass behind and get around there, all right? Now, what I'm going to add to make that a little more difficult is Tom's going to frame as well, okay? Yeah, so now I can't pressure here, all right? So as Tom turns his knee in, I'm not going to be able to go like here and squash the leg. I'm going to have to move down and back. Okay? So push my shoulders. I'm going to bring my chest on top of the side of the leg and sprawl out this way. Okay? What I'm aiming to get here to is this grip. Like pretty, I'll say the belt. It's actually better if it's on the pants. And now the belt's available. Like far side with my forearm locked across the hip. So when I get this with my shoulder on the inside, Tom tries to turn himself to his right, and he should be pretty like, pretty stuck, okay? I sprawled, I'm heavy on this leg, so my weight's like here, my shoulder's on this side, really important, and head's on this side as well. My head's over here, Tom will recover really easy. He needs to go on this far side. So here, Tom frames, pushes, okay, bring it in. So next thing I wanna do, I'm trying to put my head down, he's framing, and we pummel him through, looking for the, the elbow and trying to put my head down on top of the, the shoulder here. I should be able to beat this, this top frame once I get this elbow. So if I'm pushing with that, I should be able to get my head down. All right, now let's turn. Okay, I want to pass around, but his feet are hooking. All right, so my block him in the foot. So all you need to do, I'm going to show you just a really simple version of this, guys. I'm just going to put my left shin across both, uh, across this top leg. That and then my right leg is behind. Okay, we're just going to kill that hook. Right, we can use that hook to bother me. And that shin over the top. And I take my leg behind. Right, here we go. Start. Come in. Tom frames and he starts pushing with his leg. I'm going to sprawl on this leg. Not like this. Let's see, um, frames have worked well there. I need to move it back. Take his frames away. I'm going to take his arms down more like this. Okay, good pressure here. I'm going to control the bottom arm. Put my head down. Hold my left hand over the top. So we go. Three, two, one. To, to here. When you smash the leg, the only thing I people are generally getting it right, just a uh, few people had to, had to correct on this. Uh, I don't want to like sprawl just where I am, so I'm not going like yeah. It's very hard to get enough pressure on the leg to, to actually flatten him out. I have to like move sideways and pin the leg. Obviously, if you go too far, they free their knee, so it's like you just have to learn through trial and error how far is the right amount. But, but here, Tom goes to, to push. I will tend to move more out. Yes, you see, I'm not on the hip. I'm on the the leg. My arms. 
keeping me attached to the to the game. Okay. Uh, and controlling this arm as well, guys. So I'm gonna grip behind the elbow. I wanna stop Tom from being able to get up. Okay, if I grip behind the elbow here, he goes to get up, stay. Okay. If you just grab here, yeah, or even even just uh, if you like kept hold of that, just get up on this. Yeah. Like, this is annoying. Now I have to like flatten him out and pass. It's two things that I've got this already. There's only one thing I can do. Okay. Even when I even when I go to pass at the end, here he starts trying to get up, he's gonna really expose his, his back compared to here, where yeah, this is gonna be one. Alright, cool. Uh, so let's do some specific training.